which she is weighing on me, weighing on me. I have a sleep disorder called poetry that nags at me like an expectant lover. She's the first thing I see in the morning and the last thing I see at night. I want to say that you know, I've been in Chicago and London back and forth, and I'll say that a nationwide system where a standardized test is used to, to judge and listen to students in schools, it's a real testament to Holy Family that they've invested in creativity and student voice. What I call superstar poets, they don't like being called that, <laughs> but these are six of the top youngish poets in the United Kingdom. Hello, very nice to meet you. How are you all doing this evening? Good, good, good. If you're alive, say aye. Aye. If you're dead, say nay. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Some people need waking from the dead. Okay, so that was Mr. Bearder. My name's um, Mr. Atta or Dean Atta. But I am Miss Williams or Indigo Williams. My name is Raymond Antrobus or Mr. Antrobus. Hello, my name's Keith Jarrett. Pat Brogan, and you should all be very, very proud of your kids. I have to play you, crossing the road like there's no traffic light. We was running down the road like two drunkards coming out of a club. Then the car came and crushed her legs and feet. I saw rewinds, like how I rewinded the part when Kim and Denise buy these senders. Her face met Hackney Central. Her heart was bruised, squelching against her soft ricking. The car mirror cracked like, like her, her love. love. You steer my mother out into our back garden to sit underneath the pear tree. One hand with her magic twig, the other with its trigger. I see her pop minutes of her life away in birth balloons of hot chocolate fog. With each exhale, grey smoke carries colour from her face. I feel young again. My mind boggled by the fact that she won't stop. She just can't seem to take her middle and index finger down from her mouth. I feel as if I'm struggling to catch her from floating away from me. Basically, I heard about this girl and, you know, like, the stuff she is wearing. Does she not know we have your seven kids in the building? I mean, come on, like, it's The comments. Sliding around my teenage jungle like a tattoo, tattoo ink on wild skin. And provoked by passing people. Their happy mistakes. Bored in desperate few spitting buses. Dry lip, dry lip, dry lip status. <laughs> she gallops past like an irritated donkey. Forced to carry the world to load. Wait, wait, wait. Her eyes, they're catapulting curses. She's encouraging me to judge? Shouting! Look at them 2004 trainers! Hi! Hold your kids' hands back, Karen! And you have to lift your fingertips up to two pounds of your chips. <laughs> have you got to air your smelly crisp? And have you got to spit and babble your fast pace? Shh! You go to the back of the bus. And later on, I wonder. I was judging all the One, two. <laughs> On your mark, my feet go be into the trap by my heart. Get set, feet distracting my legs and making my bones heavier and heavier. The more time passes by, but I unconsciously move down to get ready for the mortification that awaits me. Go! The bullet gets shot. Blood impulses through the veins of my body, watering every dry cell. Like a rocket ship ready to explode, I'm off. Rebelling against the wind, my feet start scraping to the beat, scraping to the beat, scraping to the beat. <laughs> the staring on my face, lies down like a maze. It's not a race, it's a chase of my debris. No, I'm, I'm the, the predator, predator to the prey. I'm the shark to the hate. I am great vengeance. vengeance. I used to be a fire, burning, but now I'm burnt charcoal. I want your body's ashes. Like a bear. To its new found honey. Like a spider. To a fly. I want you in the history books. Like a humanist. To the trigger. But then I'd be no one. Because it's only vengeance. Goodbye, your semi spark charcoal. Dear depression, I'm looking in the mirror. She's breaking apart so quickly. Her eyes burn and the scar chips down the sides of her face. July 21st, I felt like a nobody. A piece of crumbled paper. People often repeat, just get over it. Just get over it. Just get over it. Just get over it. But it's like being locked out of your own house with nowhere else to go. She gets down on her knees, whispers her eternal wish. 
I, I wish. wish. The act is over. Perfect world has slipped away. There's this girl in the mirror, slowly, slowly drifting away. <coughs> I wish it wasn't me. She was a newborn, still waiting to live. Not even two hours old when you took her without a word. Everyone cried, apart from the father, who denied his child. All the mother ever talks about is her newborn. A wish upon a stolen star. Death is like an empty hospital room. The heart monitor doesn't work. An empty bed. And no one around to hear a sound. Having the loveliest Christmas dinner. I remember how much my grand was how much my grand hated the noise. I remember so much, but it never stayed that way. I remember when the light bulb busted. I remember so much. I remember. Alright. I remember. I stood face to face with the cornerstone of my heritage, waiting for the words that lead my lips to the chalice. My eight-year-old mind could not yet read between, between the lines that would tell me today would be a special day. <coughs> Those, Those words never came. came. Because my nan did things differently. She, she abandoned, abandoned sentences, sentences that, that did not fit and, and words she did not like. The words blood of Christ may have clung to her mouth or orthodox structures got stuck between her teeth. But with the same importance, a couple more ounces of meaning, a glint in her eye, and a zoo in her voice, she replaced them with words I understood. She replaced them with make, make it, it quick. quick. I want to rewind. Rewind to the day I fell off my scooter. Wonder why I want that raging bonfire again. again. Turned off my white flashlights. Tried to cool down like a flame in the Arctic. Arctic. Turned them back on. Almost crashed into 20 kids. Forgive, Forgive me. me. I didn't know colour paper was valuable. With my white flash is blinking. The storm crashed right into the port centre. Too blinded by the crash. I, I ripped, ripped it. it. Yeah, I ripped up the priceless tree. I threw it into the air, releasing a flock of birds flying around my head. That like Jerry came with a hammer. The Tom and Jerry had it. Big ears. As the rumour rushes, lies get picked up on the way. Eventually, they flood. The pressure in my head breaks me in like I'm weak. I overload and burst. The force of the water engulfing my control and thoughts. As the surge of the water gets stronger, I begin, I begin to, to drown. drown. Under the control of demonic water, I fought like I rule the seas. Call, Call me Poseidon. My heart falls in a beat. My way of showing I'm the bigger man. And now after the fury unleashed and increased, like water flows in a swift motion, so did my life. But what bothered me the most is <coughs> the room itself. I just don't seem to remember. The prospect of life only consists of money, money and, and pleasures. pleasures. You confuse me the way you just can't wait. You're like a Ferrari on the highway. I just wish you could slow down. And live. live. Dear hand size cannon, you invite yourself into games, manipulating people that you're an everyday item, like, like charms. charms. But you're dependent of the scorpion's poison tail and the claw of the shark's dreaded teeth. Little kids altering the hand gestures. You're the curse mark that defines your destiny. The swarm of flies that feed on death's victims. The bellows of wind that skip down my boat built spine when I'm in the fortress of the night. You and I weren't bonded with the stale gum at the bottom of my shoe. But now I resent you because you imitated my friend. And turned him into an addict of your drug. What really pulls the trigger is the terror that you put into mothers. I said wave goodbye to their children for the very last time. I sat alone in the dark in my room with my paintbrush and painting on my canvas as the sweet voice watched over me, with my thoughts shrinking into self-doubt. Dear self-doubt, stop tapping my shoulder. You are the one that spilt the words from my sister's mouth, flooding my courage like the countryside at rainy seasons and sending the aspiration away. You are my other mum, calling me to live with you, dragging me through the doors to a life I've lived so far, the life I do not want to remember. But I do. I remember the day you told me I was worthless, fat, unwanted. Those three words will stay with me until the imperfections are gone. Gone, gone, gone. You stole the child in me and evaporated it with the tears I cry today. You are the only one I trust. Because unlike the shadow, 
You stay with me in the darkest of hours. You're the creases of the crumpled paper of my life. It can't be ironed again. You know the wild bush at the back of the flat? The one that scrapes the kitchen window? The one that struggles for soil and water and fails where the train tracks scar the ground? You know how if you leave the bush and walk the stunted land, you come to crossroads paved just weeks ago, hot tar over the flattened roots of trees, and a squad of traffic lights, red-eyed now, stiff against the filth-stained fallen leaves. And further on, you know the bruised allotments with the broken sheds? And if you go beyond that, you hit the first block of Thomas Street Estate. Well, if you enter and ascend, and you might need a running jump over dank puddles into the shaking lift that goes no further than the fourth floor, you'll eventually come to a rough rise of stairs that reach without railings the rundown roof as high as you can go and a good place to stop. The best time is late evening, where the moon fights through drifts of fumes as you are walking. And when you find an upturned bin to sit on, you'll be able to see the smog pour across the city and blur the shapes and tones of things. And you'll be attacked by a symphony of tires, airplanes, sirens, screams and engines. And if this is your day, you might even catch a car chase or hear a horde of biker boys thunder across the bridge. But it is tough to speak these things. How tufts of smog enter the body and begin to wind us down. How the city chokes us painfully against this chest carved of secrets and fire. How we, built of weaker things, regard our sculpted landscapes, water flowing through pipes, the clicks of satellites passing over clouds, and the roofs where we stand in a shudder of progress, giving ourselves to the vast outsides. Still, text me before you set out. Knock when you reach my door, and then I'll walk you as far as the train tracks with water for your travels and a hug. I will watch after you and not turn back to the flat to emerge with the throngs of buses and cyclists heading down towards the block, scuffing the ground with your feet.